Good afternoon, guys, and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. <sighs> it's a little bit later than I'd like it to be, guys, but I did wake up later today um, than I did. I was actually, I was up at 9 o'clock today. I was like, oh, yes, I'm, like, getting up an hour earlier than I have, like, progressively gotten up an hour earlier. And then I kind of fell back asleep until about 10.30. So then I went, ended up waking up about half an hour later than I did yesterday. Um, so, yeah, guys, I honestly don't even know. Okay, here's the thing. I think it was because I was having such a good dream. <laughs> I had a dream that I was it, going to Disney, Disney World. And we brought the puppies with us though and I was like so excited because we were bringing them to Disney World and it was like the most it was so bizarre though because originally we were in a van and we were like driving there and it was like just a little bit of ways away from like my grandparents farm and so then we were driving there and so it's like only like an hour or two away so it must have been like four hours or something like that away from our house, right? <laughs> so we're driving there and then all of a sudden we're like, oh my gosh, we can't leave the puppies in the car, in the van, and we're, we can't bring them into Disney World. Like my thought was just like we were bringing them with for like the trip and that was it or whatever. So then all of a sudden this van turns into an RV and I'm trying to figure out like, you know, do you think we could like turn on the AC and like plug it in and like maybe we won't have to, you know, like leave the dog somewhere and I was so scared they were like going to get separated from us and everything like that and it was like like not a nightmare but it started turning into like oh no like we're either going to have to choose between like leaving the dogs in the car or else going to Disney World and so then all of a sudden I had I uh, somehow every all of my other family ended up showing up and they were staying at like this like this Airbnb that we were staying at, then we weren't in the RV anymore, but the RV had like the weirdest windows. I had to try and figure out how to turn, like close the windows. And so anyways, then we get into the Airbnb and it's like this really nice big house. Well, it wasn't nice. It was like pretty dingy, but it was like, again, guys, I don't know what my brain was going with, but it was like a pretty big house. Like there was like a lot of rooms, but it just like wasn't really well kept. And so, yeah, we're there and it's like my aunt and uncle and then my other aunt and uncle and their four kids and my other aunt and uncle and their two kids. And so it's like all of us were there for some reason. I have no clue why. <laughs> and so we're like, can we leave the puppies with you guys while we go to Disney World? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. For some reason, they didn't want to go or something like that. And I just remember telling my aunt, I was like, I'm so excited. I've never been to Disney World. And then I woke up for the second time that was at 10 30 my mom came in and was like Kayla do you smell that and I was like what what do I smell I was like no what and she's like you don't you don't you don't smell that and I was like no I don't what I was like like all like frazzled like she was frazzled and then she was like making me nervous too she's like something smells like it's burning and I was like okay she's like maybe I think it was electrical fire and I was like what I was like I don't smell anything and she's like okay She's like, I think it might have been one of the heaters. I unplugged it. She's like, I think there was just a hairball that got caught in it. Like, you know, like burnt or something like that. So I was like, okay, all right, then can I go back to bed? And then I was like, gosh darn it, I'm getting up now. I can't, I'm not going to have the same dream again. Um, but yeah, anyways, though, guys, <sighs> that's what ended up happening <laughs> My dream um, was that I almost made it to Disney World, which guys, I've never been to Disney World. I've been to another country, I've never been to Disney World. Um, and even in my dreams, apparently, I told my mom, I was like, even in my dreams, I haven't been able to make it to Disney World. We got into the parking lot and then realized we couldn't leave the puppies in the car. <laughs> so it was their fault. Bravo and Charlie. Bravo, Charlie. Oh, sorry. You were sweet. <laughs> it's your guys' fault I didn't get to go to Disney World in my dreams. <laughs> Look at Charlie. I didn't do anything. But I was like so scared we were like gonna lose them or something like that. But then I was like, well, I have faith in the rest of my family. They'll take care of them. So, um, yeah, though, so guys, I did get, with the exception of the dream, <laughs> which it was like such a good dream because the parking lot was so beautiful. Like, it was like all Disney themed and everything like that. And I was so stinging excited. And we got to like the front gate and then. Which was like obviously like you know how your dreams distort everything. It wasn't like the real front gate. It was like some weird like front gate. But like everything else like around Disney was so beautiful. I never made it in. <laughs> so um, yeah. Anyways so guys. 
I edited four vlogs for today. I uploaded two. I'm uploading the second one. I actually write this second as we speak. I'm going to go take a shower. It's about 11, 1130. I also got a quarter because I had to, um, I bought my Microsoft Office. I told you guys when I went to Walmart the other day with my mom and I just had to renew it today. So I went ahead and got that taken care of. It was another thing that I just scratched off my list of things I had to do literally um and then I also I made dinner for tonight we ended up having pizza which is nice because um with all the stuff that I ended up baking yesterday I had like another load of dishes pretty much so um with when I make pizza we normally just use paper plates and then use like three um what's it called like pizza trays um so I just threw the pizza trays in there but there's no like big like bulky like crock pot or like you know um you know pots or anything like that that I have to wash like the the um pizza trays normally can just like go on the side of the dishwasher so it's like no really extra dishes that I have to do so that was nice so I was able to catch up with dishes they're all done I did a load of dishes I did two loads of laundry today and I even spent a little bit of time um while I also just to, right now while I was actually finishing editing this last vlog was um going over a couple of websites the one thing is with walmart i realized that walmart um if you like go to their like order whatever like you can order like pick up your groceries for delivery they make you put in your like um your zip code and then they'll tell you what like the closest store to you then they'll figure out the prices based on that store or whatever and from what i saw it looks like all the prices that are on the that online one are the same prices that are actually in the store um that i was trying to compare so i was like looking at stuff like that i knew pretty much what the price was or whatever and i did the same with target's website as well and it looked like target doesn't have the exact same thing and it won't like tell you they also too it looks like they have like a you can order your groceries online and then ship it not ship it to the store but you can like order your groceries online and then go pick them up but they won't let you pick up any of the dairy or like perishable products for some reason whereas walmart you actually can like if you want to put eggs on your list or whatever you just buy the eggs and then they'll do that like ship to store thing or like you just pick up your groceries at the store or whatever um so i think it's a really like convenient service but my main reason is because I want to use it as a price guide so that I can figure out like, okay, you know, compared to Walmart, compared to Target, and compared to Aldi, what are the different prices and stuff like that. Now, Aldi doesn't have that option and it's crazy difficult to try and find a lot of Aldi prices, but because I've been coupon couponing, not couponing, but just shopping there for so long while I've been couponing and stuff like that, and back then even too, is that I've been saving almost all of my Aldi receipts. So I have a list of pretty much what the majority of their prices are, and that's one thing I want to do on my blog. So long story short, guys, I did do some work today for the blog to start up again as well and kind of doing comparing prices and stuff like that, which again, today I was kind of feeling, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know how I want to do it. And I was just feeling kind of discouraged. And all of a sudden I was editing a vlog and I was like, oh, it just came to me. And all of a sudden I just wanted to get, get some thoughts going and stuff like that. And I did, it worked out. So um yeah I did that as well and then me and Jack also spent about maybe like two hours or something like that today and we ended up playing um what was it the Lego Star Wars game too because um Jack is like I want to try and beat Matthew with all of his achievement his points he's got like crazy he's finished like almost every game it seems like on xbox and he just i don't know how he has so much time to do it seriously so me and jack were like well then let's try and do some games that we know we can beat <laughs> it was like lego star wars i could probably do that one all the other ones we have to finish like um call of duty he got this some crazy like difficult um achievement that like i don't even it took him like days to get seriously guys and it's not like it was like one where i don't know he had to finish some vet, like level on veteran or something like that i just remember it taking him like weeks to finish and once he finally got it it wasn't like finishing the whole game it was like finishing like one like level or something like that that he just had to like finish on the hardest <laughs> like the hardest mode or whatever it was i don't even know but i just remember it taking him like weeks to do and he finally got it and like he finished the game i think i was like I can't even believe you. So me and Jack are trying to now. So 
I did all that and I even had some relaxing downtime for myself today, which was really nice. So, um, yeah, I, you know, got stuff done today, guys. I feel really productive. It is a little bit later and although, um, I did wake up a little bit later today, I'm going to take a shower now, head to bed. I just need to take a real fast one. So I should be back in here by about midnight and probably be asleep by about 1230 hopefully before one o'clock, um, which will be good. And hopefully I'll get up maybe around nine o'clock, hopefully earlier than 10. Um, at least is my goal is to at least be up 10 o'clock or earlier now, because that's kind of what I've been setting for myself and slowly want to get earlier, um, which is what I've noticed has kind of been helping, but no later. So I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.